everybody, how are we doing okay? Welcome to another Friday. Not such a nice Friday today, but I've got another session on the cards. Slightly different this week. Starting off with a tempo run for 10 minutes at about 6.30 pace. And then I'm gonna do some heel sort of strides come sprint. So 12 by 45 seconds, my coach has said. So I haven't really told you who the coach is, but we'll uh, come on to that another day. So yeah, it's been going quite well. I feel a little bit tired this week. And I've had two recovery days, and so I'm hoping I'm going to feel a bit better today. But the point is to get some speed in the legs without absolutely go, going overboard. Now today I've got on the Endorphin Pros, and here they are. Now some people said that the Endorphin Pros aren't overly good in the wet weather. I think this is the first time I've actually been out with them when it's been wet. So it's not really that wet, it's just a bit drizzly in the air, but I'm hoping it won't sort of get any wetter. If I get any spots on my camera, apologies for that. Right, let's see how we get going on this warm-up and then we'll head over to the circuit. We're going to do the 10 mile tempo on and then the hill sprints not long after. Okay, so I've done a two mile warm-up in Endorphin Pro. Some people said it's a tough shoe to warm up in. I didn't feel like too bad actually, but uh, I was only going about 750 pace or like that. So I'm going to do a few strides and just a few high knee raises. I've just got myself into this, so I feel a bit stiff. So see if I can get myself a bit sharpened up. We're going to do three laps around a circuit. I do normally do my Tuesday sessions. It's going to be exactly 10 minutes. Now, there's a slight incentive. If I do, if I do 9.54, I'm going to take the course record. I think it's a bit obscure. I only mean who knows it's there because we're the only person that runs it three times. But some other guy did it when he was doing a hard session once. So that would be a little lame. I think I need to do about 6.20, 6.25 pace. So that will hopefully keep me motivated. Now, I need to try somewhere to put this top, I think. I thought it was going to rain a bit. It was a bit drizzly in the air, but I think, well, I'm actually into the session. I'd rather just wear my T-shirt underneath it. I've got my trusty Zwift orange top on, and then this rather nice gillet. But anything, if you actually want to run a bit harder, and it's quite mild today, even though it's raining a bit. So I like to discard that if I can. Just got my Ron Hill shorts on, if you can see them this time. Right, let's see if I can do a few strides and then get into this. I'll be here all day. Okay, a few strides done. I can see if I can put my top somewhere, maybe under a car. I would say when it come back. <laughs> okay, just coming to the end of this 10 minute section. I think I'm better than holding the course record, so there's this last little uphill bit to do. And uh, I'll be embarrassing if I miss it due to talk to the camera on it. Right, another 100 yards to go. There we go. So that mission accomplished. Right, it's a bit quicker than I was meant to be doing, but uh, got to take your chances to get a course record, aren't you? If it's very windy, actually, coming down this bit here, the Gordon Road here, the people who've done the Claygate 5 may recognise it. I was coming back from that way, uphill towards the end, and a bit of a headwind as well. So, the three laps of this course. Right, so we'll jog over now to where the hill is, and hopefully my top is still here. Okay, the good people of Flaygate have a nick my top. Right, let's jog over to the hill start and we'll see where we go there. Right, we're here right to the hill sprints. Just been chatting to one of my old club mates actually, so uh, good to see him. He's wearing a pair of Hyperion Tempos. Uh, so we've comparing notes on the Hyperion Elite 2, which I'd send back because uh, I think I'll say that they're too small rather than they were no good because I've seen all those Brooks Beasts running amazing times in them. So I'd like some of me jogging along at. Uh, uh, what, <laughs> 18 minute 5k pace if I'm lucky. So yeah, the Endorphin Pros weren't bad actually, but yeah, they felt nice and light. It feels like a more like a sort of more like a traditional racing flat in a way, but just with a bit more sponge on. You definitely feel you've got less shoe on than the next person, even though I think they are, it's a bit heavier, but such a light upper that they feel quite nice. Didn't have any problems at all in the corners. It's getting a bit slippery now, but I'm only going straight uphill here. Um, I've turned the camera around. Uh, I don't know if you get the pressure of that hill. It gets a bit steeper towards the end, past that car on the far left. Right, so I'm not sure I'm going to have to film here. It's quite a quiet road, isn't it? Maybe I'll put my camera up at halfway. Just get a few pictures of me coming up before it gets dark. Uh, I hope people take a shine to my camera. <laughs> Seven to go. Yeah, not too bad. A little bit stiff in the back. 
think it's all sitting around you doing lockdown. I've sort of got myself a better chair though for office work and editing and power 10 and written rankings, all that stuff. Or just looking at YouTube or Facebook. Anyway, so five down. Let's see if I can hold one now. Take you up the hill. That's at least be halfway. So it's taking about 39 seconds, so I'm sure uh, coach won't mind me the five seconds. Did run a bit hard on the first one, didn't I? Right, let's get this going. How do these people run one hand in? It's ridiculous, it's so much harder. You just sort of can't balance. You need your arms to be able to move. I feel like I'm doing it all with the legs at the moment. Oh, it does creep up hill. It does creep up more at the end, actually. All right, another 39. This heart rate just got over 140. So it's never going to get that high. Doing short reps, but it makes me feel a bit tired. Right, six more to go. I think I'll put the camera away for a little bit and move to see on the last one. Okay, just uh, 11 down now. Just jogging back down the hill to the last one. It's not fast to jog home from here for me. Only about half a mile, so not too bad. Right, it is quite nice. I mean, you feel, feel the fatigue in your legs, but you're never running fast. You're never running far enough to actually really feel the burn. But I'm trying to get myself a bit looser as well, because I'm doing a lot of easy mileage up to threshold. First time I've really pushed the boundaries. If you don't clear that tempo run earlier, when I was about 6.10, 6.15 pace, so we're about a 90 minute 5k pace for half of it on a testy course on a windy day. So yeah, not bad. Right, I need to turn around now and do this last one. <sighs> and yet another 39 seconds. Ooh. Well, it's the first time I've done a hill session for absolutely years. It's the first time I've done a proper interval session like that, actually. You forget how hard I used to work when I was doing it. Just doing the odd steady run marathon training. The volume's hard, but you never forget this lactic in your legs on these short recoveries. And that was probably a sort of a medium intensity session compared to what we used to do. Anyway, I've tried to do some of them. I think the old hamstrings or calves or Achilles or <laughs> back or anything will complain. So I'm going to build into these things. Endorphin Pro, Endorphin Pro is quite nice for this sort of session, I thought. Uh, as good as any. But uh, with the sprints, you feel like, um, next one said, I'm going to clip my heels or something. I think I mentioned that in my last video. Anyway, you probably can't see me now, I'm all hearing. So I'll post up a few stats on my session. And uh, thanks for coming along. Apologies, it's almost dark now, but at least I've got the thing done. A little job back home. And that's the end of the week. I think Sunday's got a, I think it's just a two hour run. No thing particular, just as I feel. So a nice old time on feet run. So we'll have to see what shoes go for that one. All right, so back from the little jog back from the hills, also jog back from a little interval session is always quite tough, but yeah, so back home it's just about light i think i'm coming with the g not allowed to run in the dark but you know well it's sort of light in that anyway hope you found this interesting look forward to seeing the next one like and subscribe so i usually forget that bit and bye <laughs>